Someone wants to know, have you been watching the Last Dance documentary? Well, I, I watched it too often with my uh, with my oldest daughter, you know, two episodes. You're not going to believe it. We always had an argument with my oldest daughter. She's 11 now. And she was always telling me, like, Dad, who's the like goat? Who's the best player in the world? And I was telling her, MJ, you know, like Mike. So, like, no, how about, like, Kobe or LeBron or other guys? I said, listen, you don't remember, like, how... How special was Mike in his time? That's why, and she watched it, and she's she was also amazed as well too. You know, like, and he, she started to believe in that. You know, Michael is the real real goat on this <laughs> in in this basketball. Yeah. Oh, it's been it's been so great going back and like seeing all the old games and all the old footage that we don't get to see all that Absolutely. often anymore, and really appreciate how great of a player he was. Um, like I was telling, uh, when I first got in the league in 2000, you know, I was playing with the Kings. So MJ was, you know, after retired and he came back when he was playing in Washington. So uh, I always tell this story to people like, even that time, you know, like, forget all what he did in the Chicago time. Even when he, after retirement, when he came back, you know, like, I never felt nervous to anybody in my life. But when I was, you know, like playing against him and we had a short period of time, we were guarding each other. So it was it was really special for me. You know, I was trying to explain this. But like, as you said, uh, you're watching those games and uh, the the vibe, the, the, the fire, you can even feel it right now. You know, like by watching it, you know, I can imagine like being in the court and uh, having those uh, energy it should be amazing. Mm hmm. Was he one of the type of players you looked up to when you first came into the league? I mean, I always respected MJ as the as the goat, you know. Like, but uh, I always put him in the top. But for me, I think what Kobe did, because I always tell people this, you know, like in my eras, was the best player for me. I think Kobe Bryant. Because I never had to get a chance to play against Mike, so I always watched his games and uh, etc. But in my era, my playing time, I think Kobe was the best player. You know, like so, I really, you know, was really upset about when he passed away. You know, it was a really sad moment. The whole world, if you look at it, he had whole world kind of was shocked and really upset about it because what he did on the not just the basketball but off the uh, outside of basketball, you know, he had so many this uh, when he passed away. So I, I can say that uh, MJ was really, I mean, uh, MJ was really the best of all. But like for my era, it's Kobe was really the best for me. I was really enjoying mm -hmm. playing against him, even though I, I didn't win anything against him, but still was the best player I was playing against.